Welcome back to my channel! And now, magtuon na punta. Magtuon? Yes, magtuon na punta. I know that you had our very, what do we call this one? On trend, of course, activity, we have the meme assumption wherein I test to know or I tend to know your assumption, of course, with your created memes. Nakakatawad yung mga memes ninyo. Grabe talaga. It seems like you are engaging yourself or thinking what will be your assumption or what's in mga gipang assume when you hear the word art. Yes. But before we'll continue, of course, don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Hit the like button as well as the notification bell for you to get updated with my video discussion. And now, before we'll proceed, let me thank, of course, the individuals who created this PowerPoint or amazing PowerPoint presentation. We have Natad, Asuncion, Soriano, and Abuzo. Okay, without further ado, let's get started! I know that each one of us, we do really have our own interpretation, explanation, or shall I say, description when it comes to art. Yes, but here we have art is something that is perennially around us. So sa una hantod karon na anagyud ng art. Because some people may deny to do with arts, but it is indisputable. Because you know what? Na man jui mga tao di ba nga maingon? Oi, wak mo ko kab? Ula ko ka art art yud? Mo ko kabalug art? They are unconsciously were in. They are shall I say? They are unconscious that they are doing art. Nga maingon bisan pag maingon sila nga. Oi, mula mo ko di? Bili ko artist, di ko kabalug art. But they don't know that there are certain times wherein they engage themselves into art. That life presents with many forms and opportunities for communion with the arts. I know there are some of you who might think that art focuses on painting, colors, and the like. But you know what? As you took up or as you will um, dig yourself with art appreciation, you will say that painting, drawing, and the like, hindi ganyan yung, hindi lang ganyan yung art. Because art goes beyond those things. Let's continue. So for example, a company owner choosing what tie to wear together with his shirt and shoes. Di ba usahay ka nang sa balayita? I know, dagay makarelate ani. And I'm, isa na po ani. You know what? Before mo to sa eskwilahan, we tend to choose our what? So, utun. Because, you know what? Di sa pagkual. Tama kita ka ng gusto ka na pa-impreson niya tao, di ba? That is why, we tend to do our best, of course, to find sanina that suits our personality. And aside from that one, I know there are some of the students here wherein he tend to miss and match. Karang i-miss, ah, i- kanang image bitaw ni mo sa auto like for example you are wearing um uh, black so what will be the color of your pants diba i match match ni mo if you are wearing color brown t-shirt what will be the color of your pants so if you are wearing simple so mo wear ka og mga accessories so in that way you are engaging yourself to art And of course, a politician shuffling his music track while comfortably seated on his car looking for his favorite song. Of course, di lang si politician kita yun tanan. Labi na kung maghinlo ta sa balay, di ba gusto taga mag-search to sa YouTube? Kung sa may nindot ani nga, kuan music sa tanggapanilhig ko. Di ba? It depends on our, of course, choice or genre sa music we're in gananta maninaw. And of course, a student marveling at the intricate design of Disneyland during his field trip. Diba, ang mga bata, labi na mulaag sa Disneyland, mas na, wow, wala tsuya, uy, woo, woo. Joke, dilipin ko na ito mga bata, mas na, ha, ha, nice. 
Di ba mo ano yun mga bata? For example, sa classroom, di ba? Hilig na mga painting-painting sa classroom. Ka-observe mo, hilig kayo ka mga Disney, mga mga pang buhaton sa classroom, kanang sa wall sa classroom. Di ba? Because ang mga bata, they are very much appreciative when it comes to art. Simple wop lang nila, that signifies that they do appreciate art. And of course, a market vendor cheering for her bet in a dance competition on a noontime TV program. Di ba usually ka nang, na yung mga tao mayroon nga, ay, what you, but what you, kiligilig o guard. Pero nagtanaw, oh, world of dance. Pagtan niyo, world of dance, hala ka, tsuyan nila man, ay, uy, sabay-sabay tanan. So unconsciously, kina-appreciate na din niya ang art. That is why, despite the seemingly overflowing instances of arts around people, one still finds the need to see more and experience more. Because we know that, bisa pag-engage na nato itong mga butang on the simple things we're in, art na dahil na siya, but still, we people tend to think, ah, di ba na art? Ang art is painting, drawing, drawing. Ka na siya, sculpture. Yes, because we have here, according to Plato, Beauty, the object of any love, truly progresses. Because we people, we are not contented with, I know there are some people who are going with just being simple. But there are some also people who tend to look for more beauty. As one moves through life, one locates better more beautiful objects of desire because it was emphasized here that we humans we tend to experience more explore more diba and one can never be totally content with what is just before him human beings are drawn toward what is good and ultimately beautiful so sir unsan ba na sir maragdibog ba na siya so kani siya Let me have an analogy. We have si Boy. Si Boy, na siya uyab nga babae. Then ang uyab ni Boy nga babae, si babae A, is simple lang kaayo, hinhin, buutan. Then kari si Boy, of course, wala siya na kontento. Therefore, nakita niya si babae B. Si babae B, guwapa, dakog, mmm, mmm. O ka ng sexy. So therefore, kaya wala man na contento si boy, ni atugid siya dito ah, kay girl. But I, I know, that, that, that was just an analogy. But come to think of it, that people don't just stay on being what? Being simple or being payak because they tend to go more on of what? See the beauty. And we have now the question, why study the humanities? Bakit nga ba? You know what? Art appreciation is under humanities. Because you know what? For as long as man existed in this planet, of course, we are engaging ourselves to art. Most especially that we, people, we are the one who creates art. And the meaning of word art has something to do with all this craft. You know what? Sa unang panahon mang God, of course, di ba? Later on, we will know bakit tinawag na art yung craftsmanship, yung paggawa ng espada, shield, like that. Bakit tinawag yung art? Later on, malalaman natin. So therefore, as the human existed, nandyan na rin yung art. That is why we need to study humanities. And aside from that, you will become future teachers. So therefore, you need to engage yourselves about appreciating art. So we have here, the word art comes from the ancient Latin ars, which means craft or specialized form of skill like carpentry or smithing or surgery. Art then suggested the capacity to produce an intended result from carefully planned steps or methods. The ancient world did not have any conceived notion of art in the same way that we do now. To them, art only mean, meant 
using the bare hands to produce something that will be useful to one's day-to-day life. As compared right now, that when we hear the word art more on beauty, color, diba? But on the past, of course, for them, art is more on craftsmanship. Like for example, making plates, swords, kaya yung sinabi ko kanina, which are very useful to their daily living. And now, diri anata sa history. So, ours in medieval Latin came to mean something different. It meant a special form of book learning. Kung kanina, more on craftsmanship siya. But for, or in, during medieval Latin, it is more on cognitive aspect. Because for them, it is more on learning from the book. Ano ba yung learning from the book? There is more on rules, like for example, grammar, logic, magic, or even astrology. It was only during the Renaissance period, or yes, that the word reacquired the meaning that was inherent in its ancient form of craft. Early Renaissance artists saw their activities merely as craftsmanship devoid of a whole lot of insta- intonations that are attached to the word now. So, you know what? You could really see that from the very oldest definition of art, it is quite evolving or changing, depende sa period. And of course, on the 17th century, when the problem and idea of aesthetics, when we talk about aesthetics, it is the study of beauty began to unfold distinctly from the notion of technical workmanship, which was the original conception of the word art. So therefore, from the very old, or we call that, was a, that one as ancient world, the medieval Latin, Renaissance period, is they have different definition of art. But when the 17th century started, therefore, ang definition na nato sa art and ang time is more on personal definition karon more on beauty and you know what in 18th century diri ano yun siya na clear because it distinguished between fine arts and the useful arts so therefore when we talk about fine arts more on aesthetic value useful arts more on workmanship craftsmanship the fine arts yes oh nakalagay na dyan this is more akin to what is now considered as art so therefore right now we do really term or we do have two kinds of arts we have the fine arts and we have the useful arts like for example we have this one the cave paintings you know what with the use of cave paintings we could be able to what trace the history because you know what the ancient people tend to what showcase their being artists through of course carving on stones woods and aside from that one they tend to attempt their yes you know what i saw a what do we call this one a documentary we're in people you know what people write or naga drawing sila sa cave because that is their what do we call this one more money lang ka ng kuan basihan were in kanang marag mga special event nila like for example kato nakita na ko i am really um uh, fond of watching kanang mga anaconda so as i watch the certain um uh, movie of anaconda were in nakita nyo ako dito agi carve nila ang katungkuan katong lalaki nga gipatay ni ang bitin so like that therefore we tend to write through of course carving on the cave the history or the events that they have done and now we have this assumption of art okay for the assumption of art because i know that you already created your memes so therefore we don't really to makita ang kanang inyo mga assumption when it comes to art but of course based on book we have this um what do we call this one assumptions of art so first assumption is art is universal 
So we assume that art is universal. When we talk about universal, therefore, it is true to all. Wala siya pili kung puti, itom, you are fat, you are thin, you are petite, you have color black hair, or you even have a blonde hair. So it doesn't matter because it is for all, para sa lahat. Why? Because you know what? It really can be seen with the what? Literature. Why? We have these two popular literature. We have um, the Iliad and the Odyssey. So if you are really fond of Greek mythology, so therefore, alam nyo to, you know the story of, of course, Achilles, Odysseus, yan. And we also have the Indian longest Mahabharata. And you know what, when we talk about art is universal, it has always been timeless because hindi ito napaglilipasa ng panahon. Try to imagine, diba? Up until now, we are keep on reading this what? This literature such as Iliad and the Odyssey, diba? It is also included in our curriculum. Therefore, hindi ito napaglilipasan. Art is hindi napaglilipasan ng panahon. In every country and in every generation, there is always art. For example, because we have here um, a misconception that age is not a factor in determining art. You know what? Because people tend to tell that art is not good because it is old. But old because it is good. Because you know what? There are some people nga may sila, Uy, karaan na nga painting, painting. Ay, nindot yun ni. Which is a really misconception. Why? Because it is stated here in the letter that old because it is good. For example, the written work of Jose Rizal. We have the Noli Mitangere. Masasabi man natin, Uy, nindot ang Noli Mitangere because dugay na kainig isulat. But we tend to say that up until right now, we are still reading No Limitangere because it is good. Nakuha nyo? Okay, so nasabi ko na here in our country is of course, we are really fond of literature. And literature is, you know what? Under art. Here in our country, of course, Imagine mo ng first year high school ta. Itong first year high school ta. We tend to, of course, study the Ibong Adarna. You know what Ibong Adarna? It is another Filipino masterpiece that has always been, always captured the imagination of the young with its timeless lessons. Because you know what? Ibong Adarna is, it is quite mataas siya. Or maraming babasahin talaga but as you go over with this story, you tend to imagine kung unsa ang naitabo ato and aside from that one tung grade, ay second year ta or grade 8 mo we have this Florante at Laura wherein it engages us to what or it taught us the beauty of love char, tungkod ano yung nag-uyab ng mga high school, charot lang so of course, aside from Florent at Laura and Ibong Adarna, we also have the Psalms. Wherein we recite Psalms, we feel in communion with King David as we feel one with him in his conversation with God. So, most especially during, of course, Misa, there is Salmo Responsorio. That is why, of course, we could really say na diri tungod kay mga karaan ni nga mga literature maunang makiunta, uy, maayon ni kay karaan ni. But, nangaraan ni sila because they are good. And of course, kundi man, you know what, who among you here already watched the movie Bar Boys? Because you know what, kundi man is, isa sa ilang kinapaminawan while they are what? Is studying. So, pasensya na mo na mga erodiri ang dapita. So, you know what, some, t- and who among you here are watching the movie um, Bad Genius. Kung nakita niyo yung Bad Genius, di ba hilig siya maminaw ka ng mga opera? So therefore, 
the people or those people keep on listening to this certain um song why because it is good and help them concentrate better and of course you know what the first assumption then about the humanities is the art has been crafted by all people regardless of its origin time place and of course like and enjoyed by people continuously so therefore of course art is f- for everyone wala lang siya pinili nga tao kani ang art ay para na sa kwartahan no next assumption is we have the art is not nature bakit art is not nature why do you say so Because, you know what, in the Philippines, it is not entirely novel to hear some consumers of local movies remark that these movies produced locally are unrealistic. Kinsay gatan ako sa inyo, o ka na mga salita, for example, Cardo. Diba there are some episodes of Cardo, I am not critiquing Cardo, I know you are a fan of Cardo and I respect that. But there are some episodes of Cardo nga marag, ah, tika, oh, tika ni Cardo, uy, anong, anong kwan pa mo Diba? Most especially, of course, you know what, here in our country, nadyo mga salida nga ati krakayo, have you seen the kato kambal karibal? Diba katong gipump ni ang katong babae nga nag ana na siya sa iyahang? Kamu, diba unrealistic siya? Because they contend that local movies work around certain formula to detriment of substance and faithfulness to reality of movies. Another example, ano na, kanang mga kuan, mga giapi-api nga mga buutan di ba api-api ho na siya pag uman naman ako api sa iya ha kaya makagusto siya sa gwapo nga mayaman pag uman niya gusto sa gwapo nga mayaman is kanang pasakitan din siya sa katong kalawan nga babae then da yun is tungod kay gipabubog man siya is abin na nilagpatay na siya pero buhi pa dahil siya tapos na pag gwapo siya kaya nakakita siya ka ng kwartahan tapos pag pag gwapo sa iya na ni malus na po dahil siya balik tapos karon da yun gipildin na niya to yung kalabang babae pag uman niya pildin itong kalaban yung babae is gadayin na niya po niya itong lalaki so di ba the same formula again and again so therefore these critical minds argue that a good movie must reflect reality as close as possible is that so? yes as for me it should be Because you know what, habang tumatanda talaga tayo, we tend to, of course, tend to see, or if we became more mature, di ba we tend to see more, or we focus ourselves more on real things, more on reality, di ba? Because you know what, we have here, we have here the way, well and grinding wheel in the forest of the chateau oh. and of course it was painted by paul Cezanne. i don't know if i of course he is french so i bet that there is other way of pronouncing his name but of course as i am a filipino therefore i will be go or i will be what do we call this one using what I am comfortable when it comes to pronouncing names. So, painted a scene from reality entitled, entitled oh, yung sinabi ko na kanina. You know what? As you can see in the painting, the, it depicts what reality were in a forest. But you know what? This said scene is in, inspired by a real scene in the forest. That's what I said. Comparing the two, one can see that Cezanne has changed some patterns and details from the way they were actually in the photo- photograph. What he did is not nature, it is art. Huh? Art is not nature, man. Because even though art is a form of imitation, but it could not be what? Best representation of reality. Like as what I have said earlier, that for example movies even though it is close to reality but still movies are art therefore movie uh, therefore movies are not what in nature even though it depicts reality because one of the important characteristic of art is that it is not nature how could we know that it is not nature 
art is man's expression of his reception of nature. Because even though, yun, ana, yung color nga green, pero yun siya nga, ay, dapat ilight light lang nako ni pagka green. Therefore, gidistort na niya ang what is reality. And aside from that one, art is man's way of interpreting nature. Because, for example, nakakita, uy, nindutan ni paint, uy, pero nari, hiwi nga sa nga, uy, utrunta ni. And aside from that one, art is made by man. And nature is not made by man. Therefore, art is not nature. So, of course, we cannot deny the fact that when we talk about art, we do really have our own perspective. Come to think of it, I have here a, what do we call this one, a short story. So, as you can see in the picture, so, there are what? Blind men. So, we have five blind men. So, each of the five blind men was holding a different part of the elephant. The first one was touching the body and the tusk. Tusk yan, ha? Though, the elephant was like a wall. I thought that the elephant was like a wall. Another was touching the, bra- the beast ear and was convinced that the elephant was like a fan. Uy, parang paypay ang ilipat. The rest were touching the different parts of the elephant and concluded differently based on individual subjective experience of nature. So therefore, art is not objective. It is subjective. It depends upon you on how you perceive art, on what is your like as well as your dislike. Because it is not meant, after all, to accurately define what the elephant really like in nature. Art is and not expected to duplicate. In whatever work of art, one should always ask why the artist made it. What is that he wants to show? Because you know what, as an artist, we tend to, of course, improvise. To improve, for example, as what I said, Uy, di kayo siya green, dapat ilight green ko ni. O, oh, di ba? And of course, we have this art involves experience. Because you know what? For most people, art does not require full. For most people, art does not require a full definition. Because you know what? It is not actually learning the definition description of art, but knowing, or having, or experiencing art. Because by experience, we mean, of course, actual of doing something. Therefore, we just not end with the meaning of painting. We do really actually paint. Ganun yon. So therefore, for example, di ba na yung mga tao, hilig kayo ng mga na, Uy, lamig jud kayo sa piling main love. <gasps> Tapos wala pa day kauyab. So therefore, di na siya tinuod because he or she just based the feeling of love sa iyang mga nabasa like what that based on its definition in Merriam Dictionary or based from the experiences of others but you know what there is also these other people were in yun siya nga sakita yun ano sa feeling oh my god man no kanang may smile ka bisa pag naniligra ka mahugas ka plato kinakauyab naman siya so therefore, there's a big difference between just knowing its definition and experiencing it. So the same with also with art. So therefore, diba, if right now we are engaging ourselves with art appreciation, therefore we need to experience art. That is why our activities are more on hands-on talaga ito. Because I want you, because at the end of the day, I really want you to know I know there are some of you keep in doubting on yourself that di mako artist. But no, all of us can be artists in our own unique way. Yes, siya nidot kay siya mo paint. Pero dili kay siya kabalo mag letter cut. Tapos ikaw di ka kabalo mo paint pero hasta kay ka mag letter cut. Let a uh, letter cut. So therefore, each one of us we do really have our own strength as well as, well as weaknesses. What we need to do is of course develop more our strength as of course turn our weaknesses into strength
of course, a choreographer who cannot execute a dance step himself is a bogus. A painter cannot claim to know how to paint if he has tried holding a brush. A sculptor cannot produce a work of art if a chisel is foreign to him. In short, if we engage ourselves to art, or we cannot tell, for example, ako, mo-claim ko nga, uy, kanang maay, kanang, hastero yun ako magkuhan, uy, charcoal rendering. Then, wala pa di ko ka, gunit o kanang kuan, kanang charcoal pencil. ba? Diba? That is why, art depends on experience, and if one is to know art, he must know it, not as fact or information but as experience that is why right now i am or i really want to teach you or to engage you more on artworks that is why sayang nga i prepared pa man sana mga hands on activities wherein you will really engage yourself to art but unfortunately of course the covid-19 pandemic situated therefore we cannot have face to face instruction that is why right now I tend to, of course, search a lot more, more of activities wherein you could do it by yourself as well as through online. Always remember that a work of art, a work of art, they cannot, it cannot be abstracted from actual doing. In order to know what an artwork is, we have to sense it, see or hear it. Yes, see or hear it. Therefore, we need to experience as well as expose ourselves. So again, let's do a recap. What are the three assumptions of art? Very good. We have the first one. Art is universal. When we talk about art is universal, it is for all. Moro yun ang timanan. It is for all. And we have the quotation there that art is not good because it is old, but all because it is good. Or in short, is dili inindot ang art tungod kay karaan siya, but nangaraan ang art tungod kay nindot siya. And we also have the second one. Art is not nature because it is really hard to dip, to of course to copy what is in nature because we humans we tend to improvise we tend to what do we call this one beautify more, diba? And it is reflected in movies, diba? Sometimes unreal na and also the artworks wherein we tend to change the color, the light. Yes, and of course we have the third one which is art involves experience because we cannot really say that we are an artist if in the first place we did not engage ourselves or we did not experience creating an artwork that is why I thank you so much for watching I know in this video is quite too long so therefore you will be waiting for the link for your short quiz yes all your quiz or all the items from or in your quiz will be based from what we had in this lecture that is why thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to leave a thumbs up and of course comment below and of course subscribe again this is mark jenna martinez your poking instructor